What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Luau. Back again. Unboxing. Hey, it's SDCC. It is the box of fun. 2022 style. It looks good. There's not many losers in this one. Stay tuned because here we go. All right, everyone, thank you for coming to join me. I am the Luau. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. Oh, donka shane to you. Blessings and everything like that. And no matter where you are in the country, I hope you are staying cool. It is absolutely brutal. And for somebody who hates the heat, it's triply brutal. Doubly, triply. Anyway, uh, box of fun. SDCC. Um, hey, I don't know how you guys thought. I thought it was really good. I've heard there's different boxes if you're at the con. There were some more limited pieces and different characters. But the ones you could get at home, there really weren't that many bad ones. I mean, tremendously good characters. Uh, from all three Squid Game soldiers to some limited pieces. Nothing under 4,000 piece except the mascots. You had a potential for, I think the lowest was 1,000 piece Metallic Thor. You had a 2,000 piece, wow, there was a Metallic Carnage. There was the Glow in the Dark Darth Maul. Then there were 4,000 pieces of those. There's Russell. Some awesome ones, without a doubt. So you were able to choose your mascot, obviously. There were four of them. And I tried to get two because the way it made it sound, and other people did this, is you were able to get one of type of box per household, but you could get multiple different types. So you could get the protector or the clown. Uh, I was in line, never got a chance to go back and get another one. Um, but I chose the clowns. Now, truth be told, there is codes to how you can do this, and eventually it doesn't take people long before they figure it out because each box has a number, and that number translates to certain pops. So there are combinations. They don't differ. They're the same. And unfortunately, depending on your mascot, not every pop is available. Um, so clown, like I know, I looked at the, the different combos and like for the clown, I don't even have a shot at the glow in the dark Darth Maul. No shot. Uh, and I don't think the Glowtron as well, which is another limited one. So that's what it is. If you people think it's very random, it's truly not. It's almost like they're mystery minis. It's kind of like set up this, 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 and this. I, I think there were like five or six combos per uh, mascot. So, and I'm going to show you how it came because I, I have it opened, but I decided I'd put it back in the box to show you guys how it came. And then we're going to do a little bit of a luau talk mixed in with this video um, because I don't know what's in the box. But no matter what, I'm, I know I'm not going to like everything. I'm not going to keep everything. We'll talk about the flipper mentality, or is it really a flipper at the end? But my box came tremendously well. I've heard some people came bad. I've heard some people's the pops were damaged. But the boxes weren't. So you got to remember, people are taking the pops and putting them into the boxes. So that's probably how you're getting the damage. Now mine came in a very big Funko Bop, Funko box, and then there it is. It came in this, which is almost like it's sorter, right? One piece. And so I thought, but that's not it, because then inside we've got another sorter, which says again, uh, stop alert July 22nd basically telling you you can't sell it before that. So this was literally triple boxed on my box. Now I've heard others that was not the case. But mine triple boxed now. All right, so, and here it is, the box of fun. Now what I will tell you this is, there is a very thin layer of tape here. It is a round tape, but Sometimes if you buy these on the secondary market, you've got to be careful because some people will maybe mix up the combos, which you can. If you go online, you will see the combinations. And they'll reseal this, put another piece of tape, and try to say it was sealed when it was opened. Maybe they take something out. You never know. It's just a little bit dangerous buying these on the secondary market. That's all I'll say. All right. All right, so here it is. This is the box. Uh, and I, I like it, you know, it's black light. All the, the mascots have uh, the black light to it. And again, you see all the mascots there, uh, protectors, clowns, uh, robots, 
and of course Bandit. Now, I thought about Bandit because it was almost, it, it kind of reminded me of um, Rocket Raccoon, but I didn't go with that one. Uh, so again, always remember the tape, guys. It is nothing but a little round circle. It can easily be duped. Just be careful if you buy this on the secondary market. All right? All right. So here we go. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, so I don't want to look. But, all right. So that'll help me because I, I saw the black light. I don't want to look. Because I remember some parts about this. And if I see one, knowing what I got, it very, very well I could... Uh, could guess what it is. All right, but we're gonna we'll do this one first. Again, I don't want to look. Put that there. All right. So here is the mascot. It is Killer Crowns. So um, looking at it, I mean, condition-wise, no issues. I like it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. You know, it was my first choice. I don't know. I, I just went with it. Killer Crowns, uh, 6,250 pieces. It's a cool one. All right. So first one, I don't know. If I see them, I, I, I remember some combinations. I don't remember them all. Now, for me, which would I like? What would be keepers for me? So I like Squid Games. You've seen a video, obviously, last week about Squid Game. I like Squid Games, but I don't need all three. I don't. I just need one Freddy, Squid Games. I don't care if it's Triangle square or what just one i don't need all three don't need all three but having one is really cool uh russell because of up russell would be cool um i might keep destro destro would be one i would consider mando maybe but i don't know i don't know all right so let's get to the first one i don't know which one is which here we go first one is <sighs> G.I. Joe, ah, it is Snake Eyes. Freddy Funko, Snake Eyes, 4,000 piece. There, Shibby. Um, looking at the box, though, I mean, really, no issues whatsoever. I know some people had some uh, window issues. This one, very cool, and it's a 4,000 piece. So, not bad, not bad. All right. Um, I'm trying to think if I remember the box combo. I don't. Now, if I looked at this sorter box, uh, in fact, I'll show you because I don't remember the numbers. But here it is. See how it says bundle 23? That's the combination you're going to get. And I think there's 23, there's four, something like that. All right, All right so I'm going to pick, let's go with this one. Watch out! It's Star Wars. Oh, all right. That is the 4,000 piece Freddy Funko as the Mandalorian. And if I remember correctly, I know what this last one is, and it's a banger. Uh, so there's Mando. This is a cool one. Uh, kind of goes back to season one of Mando. Love the gun. Um, it would have been cool if it was like it had the really shiny Beskar. It does not have the shiny Beskar. So just so you know that. And it would have been cool if Grogo was there. Um, it is because it's Star Wars, a bobblehead. And obviously G.I. Joe is not. So it does hold hold true to Star Wars. Cool. I don't know. We'll get talking if it's a keeper. Because I know what this one is because of the box. Uh, so there were only, I think, what, two very limited ones. I think this is the most limited of all of them. And it, yes, it is. And there it is. This is the Metallic Thor 1000 piece, the lowest number of the boxes of fun. And, oh yeah, it is a crispy. Now, there is a common one. Well, there's a 4000 piece one that doesn't have the Metallic. That's really the difference. Very, very cool. And it's more the cartoon Thor. Very minty box. Very, very minty box. Now, and this is an incredible box. This is probably one of the best boxes you can get in the box of funds because I think Darth Maul is a 2,000 piece and I think Tron might be a 2,000 piece as well. I think the only 1,000 one is Thor. So, this gets into the Luau talk, uh, even more so now, seeing what this box is. 
obviously I didn't get a Russell. I didn't get a um, uh, a Squid Game one. Um, and those were the, really the main ones. Now, Mando, I've got to consider. I don't know what I'm going to do with Mando yet. I don't. But hold on. I'm going to look and wait to see what these things are going for right now. And we're going to talk flipping and we're going to talk uh, collecting. We're going to wrap it up with a little Luau talk next. All right. So here we go. I did a little search on eBay to see what these things are going for currently right now as of opening this box, which is Friday. So uh, Snake Eyes. Again, Snake Eyes is going to make... Remember, this box was 75 bucks. So Snake Eyes is going for right around 75 to 85 dollars you make all your money back with this pop selling alone and obviously i have no no i don't collect gi joe i love gi joe as a kid i don't collect it uh this one definitely not one that's going to stay in the collection so right there then i'm playing with house money right currently right now mando even though it's a four thousand piece is going for anywhere from about 185 to 215 that one this one currently, right now, is going for anywhere from about four to four fifty. So, in essence, if I kept Killer Clowns, which is probably in the forty dollar range, yeah. You know, if I kept Killer Clowns, right? I sell Snake Eyes, I make my money back. I'm playing with house money. If I went two hundred, and say this one goes for four hundred, six hundred dollars I make, right? Now, is that considered a flipper? This is my mentality on it. If you go to a store and you buy multitudes and multitudes of multitudes, all right, you're a flipper. Call it, call it as you see it, fine. I got this to go for things I wanted. I didn't get what I wanted, but it did really good. So what I'm going to do, and I'm almost 85% sure I'm not going to keep it, is if it had Best Guard, The Child, or something like that, I probably would, but it doesn't. So anyway, um, I'm probably going to sell these. And I probably will go for maybe 180 to 200. I'm probably going to sell this one if I can for 400, even 350. It doesn't matter. 350 to 400, perfect number for me. What I might do is throw it on eBay and make it one of the lowest numbers. Why? Because I'm playing with house money. And in the end, guys, this is the time when you want to sell these because what people have in the collecting market is called FOMO fear of missing out. They're going to pay the biggest prices for this stuff right now. Bar none, no doubt about it. Now, I, I looked up Squid Games as well. Squid Game pops anywhere between 40 to 80 bucks. So I'll go buy one, honestly. That's what I'm going to do because I only really want one. I don't need all three. Um, probably going to sell this, make my money back. I'm playing with house money I and make these on this. Now, why? Why do I not consider a flipper? Because what I'm going to do with selling these guys is I very well could make, you know, you got to think after taxes. So say I make 350 on this one. Say I make 200 on that one. I get $550. I'm going to pay right about 50 some to 60 bucks in fees and everything like that. So say I make $480 out the door, right? I'm going to turn it into more collectibles. That's a hot toy. That's multitudes of nice mystery boxes. That is also, uh, a brand new case. Yes, uh, I spent some major money on a Maju case. If you don't, if you want to look at cases and detoffs, detoffs are great until you start dealing with hot toys and really collectibles. You don't want dust. This is okay because the stuff is in there is in hard protectors anyway. But I want to display hot toys, and Maju case is flipping amazing. It's a year wait. Uh, check it out. Hey, I'll put the link down side. You can go see what those things are. Tons of different combinations. I bought basically almost a $2,000 case. Yeah, it's going to take anywhere between 8 to 14 months to get here. But in the essence, that's what it is. It's going to sit behind here. It's going to look absolutely amazing. Uh, more for the Back to the Future, the Batmobile, all that stuff that I can put in it. It's got lighting. It's, check it out, modulecase.com. Anyway, right here. 400 to 500 dollars i'm putting to it boom and that's 450 i didn't have before you know what i mean it saves me money and i'm turning it back into my collection uh collectibles turned into more collectibles or maybe it's a hot toy or something like that that's my mentality you know what i mean um hopefully this video helps it showed 
the great unboxing of fun. And it was an incredible box, one of the best boxes you could get. But in turn, there's nothing that fits my collection, nothing I'm going to keep. Why? Because I understand FOMO and I understand collectors who have FOMO. I will also say this, spend your money the way you want. If you have FOMO, because there's certain things I do, and you want something and you gotta pay high for it now and you can't wait, my advice is wait. Because these things are gonna go down in price. There's no doubt in my mind. In about two to four months, play the long game. This pop probably anywhere between two to three. Ballpark at the end of what I think it's gonna be worth. Mando, a little bit more popular, I think probably in the 150 to 200 range is probably where that's gonna end up. Maybe one to 150, we'll see. Snake Eyes, I'm gonna go under 100 bucks. That might be a $50 pop in the end, just saying. Um, but it, it's the fear of missing out now. It's driving the high prices. If you want to sell something, now's the time to sell it. It's just the way it works. That's my mentality. You know, a little bit of into the brain of the luau. Hopefully it helps you. Hopefully it gives you a different perspective of flippers and mentality of people selling and stuff like that. Maybe I rambled. Maybe I helped you. Maybe I helped you from preventing FOMO. But in the end, I always like to say this. Do what you want. It's your money. It's your mentality. It's your collection. It's your collectibles. Make it the way you want it. If you got FOMO, go get it. I mean, God knows I did, I did it uh, during SDCC for a figure. I had to have it. Well, I had to. You know what I mean? I could play the long game and wait. I didn't want to. I wanted it now. So I missed out getting it for retail at 70 I ended up paying 125 for it. And you know what? I'm cool with it. And it may be 100 or $80 in four or five months. And you know what? I'm good with it. Be good with your collection. Be good with your collectibles. If you get something you don't want, flip it. If you get something quick, you might want to think about selling things quick because that's where you're going to hit FOMO. You're going to get the most price for it. It's the most bang for your buck. People do it with the NFTs and all sorts of stuff. So just saying, that's my two cents. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this kind of like two-parter video. You had an unboxing. You had a luau talk. Maybe... I help somebody because if I could give someone a little bit more education, someone a little bit more helping with their mindset, that's all it's about to me. And uh, thank you for joining me this way, this long. Hopefully, you stay till the end. And uh, hey, catch giveaway affiliate links at the end. There are also clickable links down below. I will leave a link to Maju Case uh, if you want to check out something that I bought. Um, if you have collectibles, hot toys, or even Funko Pops. There are one of the best cases you can buy right now. Uh, they are a huge step up from a Detoff. You're going to pay for it, but it's, it, it's awesome. They're awesome. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. Always peace. Always love. We're out. Well, everyone, you're at the moment where uh, I've got to say, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you are still watching now, because if you are, you're going to find some very information, important information out, like uh, that one, our brand new weekly giveaway. That's right, weekly, three and a half plus years we've been doing it. Six prizes, two winners, we do it every single Sunday night, Luau Showtime. That's right, the Luau Show. Come join us live every Sunday night where we pick the winners. We have special guests. We do unboxings. We talk collectibles and everything that might else be on your mind. Movie reviews, food, cooking. I mean, we, we run the gamut Sunday night. Please join us there and hop in that giveaway. Also, affiliate links. There's tons of them. They're all down below. 10% off uh, at places like Spastic Collectibles, Funko Kings, uh, wow, Zanini pins. Hey, we even have discount codes for cookies. That's right, cookies, organic bang cookies. I'm telling you right now, you gotta love them. The sea salt caramel chocolate chip is absolutely to die for. They're incredible. Hit that discount code down below, click on it, go to it. 20%, I believe, off the cookies. They ship them to you. I love the cookies, I can't help it. And they got brownies too. I, I, I like the, uh, the s'more brownie. But anyway, a lot of other discount codes, and if you want to see some very cool stuff like this shirt right here with all the L Luau logos or many other Luau logos, hit that Teespring down there. That's how you can get it. There's a discount code there. Go check that out at uh, teespring.com. And if you would like to support the channel and get something from me every single month, 
That's right, every month, not many people do that, you know? Not many people give you something, but if you support the channel, I will, and you can hit that Patreon link down below at patreon.com slash the luau, and there's tons of tiers. There's even a candy tier, that's right, candy. They don't call me the candy man for nothing. Uh, you would get a mystery box popping candy every single month. If you choose that tier, there's a mystery box tier, there's a pop tier, there's a sticker tier, there's tons of stuff. It all supports the channel, and I thank you for supporting the channel. And if you did, hopefully you hit that like button, you hit that subscribe button, and you dung that bell. And uh, make sure you uh, check your dung because YouTube turns off your dang and makes you dung it again. And sometimes again, again, and again. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. Catch me live Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Enjoy the videos throughout the week. And hey, all the rest is all clickable links down below. Be well, be square, be happy. Peace and love. This is the Luau saying good morning, good evening, and good night.